Welcome to the episode Bedroom Lighting, choosing what's best for comfort and mood. This is episode number four in our series Bedroom Decor to Elevate Your Emotional Well-Being. Studies have shown that natural or close to natural light helps to regulate our hormones and circadian rhythms. This means that the right kind of bedroom lighting can positively influence our health, productivity, and happiness. I'm Natalia Kalin. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share evidence-based strategies to help you create an environment that pleases the eye and elevates your well-being. Research suggests that using softer and warmer lighting in the evening, such as orange and yellow hues, will stimulate the production of melatonin, which is uh, sometimes called the sleep hormone. Bright, cold and uh, white and blue lights in the evening will disrupt melatonin production and stimulate the production of serotonin instead. We need serotonin during the day and melatonin at night. Later in the video, we will discuss in detail how to choose the right light color for your bedroom to support your circadian rhythms and hormones. We will show examples of many aesthetically beautiful and practical bedroom lighting, as well as the types of lighting to avoid. Let's begin with task lighting, as this is the most important type of lighting in a bedroom. For many bedrooms, task lighting uh, at the head of the bed might be enough. It could be as simple as lamps on the nightstands or wall sconces. Here we have both wall sconces and small task recessed lights in addition to the sconces, which might be nice if we need a little bit more brightness. Many people enjoy reading in bed. If you are one of them, consider wall-mounted light fixtures with adjustable arms, so the light can be directed onto your book. These are pretty cool. On the other hand, it doesn't have to be elaborate. There are so many beautiful bedside table lamps on Amazon or Etsy. These are quite interesting. They produce very soft and uh, diffused light. Low-hanging pendants are becoming uh, more and more popular, uh, especially in contemporary bedrooms. They are beautiful and functional. Different shapes, different designs. I am fond of Etsy because they have very artistic designs, many of which are handmade and unique. You may wonder about ambient lighting in a bedroom. Do we need it or not? That's a personal preference. We don't really need it, but we can have it in addition to the task lighting, not instead. Chandelier in the bedroom is more of an aesthetic feature, but the lighting near the head of the bed is essential. If you choose to have a chandelier, make sure it doesn't have any sharp features and edges like in this image. Choose a design that is round and evokes a harmonious feeling as this is something you will see from the bed. The so-called boob lights are still present in some older homes. Your bedroom will thank you if you change it to something nicer and more contemporary. There are so many inexpensive and beautiful options on Amazon, Wayfair, Lamps.com and Etsy.com. There are a few links in the description below if you'd like to take a closer look. Now, let's discuss what kind of bedroom lighting to avoid. Sometimes we will combine ceiling lights with fans. Try to avoid ceiling fans altogether in the bedroom, especially for rooms with lower ceilings. Fans are sharp, bulky, and uh, feel oppressive from, uh, if seen from the bed. Find other ways to cool off and circulate air in the room. The truth is, if you have an AC, you don't really need ceiling fans. This one is quite overwhelming. It's like a helicopter in the room. It is so big that it became a focal point in this room. The other question is, do we need recessed lighting in a bedroom? I've never really seen a need for recessed lights in a bedroom. Recessed lighting is too harsh, in my opinion, for bedroom lighting. If you need a source of ambient lighting, a tasteful chandelier is your best choice. In this room, you can see uh, fan lights and recessed lights throwing these random 
light patterns on the walls, which must be quite irritating when you enter the bedroom and turn the lights on. Here are a couple of examples of how uh, not to light the bedroom. This one is on fire, way too active with all the bright lights up there. The red color definitely adds to it, while there are no lamps or fixtures where you actually need them closer to your head. This one is a good example of unnecessary lighting in a bedroom as well. There might be a place for it in your living room if you have an art gallery, but in the bedroom, this is a sure recipe for too much agitation and energizing your brain right before you go to sleep. Let's talk about how to choose the right color for your bedroom lighting. I want to urge you one more time to use warm colored lights in the bedroom. Remember, exposure to uh, red, orange, and yellow parts of the light spectrum is correlated to production of melatonin, sleep hormone, while white or blue light correlates with production of serotonin. When serotonin is activated at night, you will most likely have trouble sleeping. You can find more details on how to support better sleep in our episode uh, Bedroom Design for Better Sleep. It is linked in the description. Take a look at this chart with different uh, LED temperatures measured in Kelvin units. For reference, the temperature of the sun is approximately 5,775 Kelvin, and the temperature of the candlelight and burning wood is just a little under 2,000 Kelvin. Throughout most of human history, our evenings were lit by the yellow-orange glow of burning wood or candles. Bright white lighting is in the evenings is a very recent thing, and our biology is not acclimated to it yet. Especially for the bedroom lighting, you want to aim to be closer to 2000 Kelvin range. Consider a dimmer for your bedroom lighting. It's a super useful for setting the right mood and ambience. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of bedroom lighting. I hope you found this episode informative. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The next episode is all about bedroom art. Bye for now.